Hello and welcome to this Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition Let's Play with me, Vina Garbia. We are about to fight an Ogrillon. There we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Mira is taking Stand charge. Back and watch this. Maybe not two Ogrillons. Let's just move you out of the way. I hope you guys are all right. Uh, today we are going to go down towards an enter national. Yes, Hopefully dear. We'll, uh, if that's your desire. Also get there and and uh, one is down. Is that? Man, that's right okay. Let's move her out of the way for a little bit. There we go. Haven't you got nothing Hopefully better we'll to do? Hopefully we'll get there fairly soon and can do some of the Nashkel area. Uh, in this episode. Now, a scroll. How intriguing. Bounty notice. Another one of these bounty notices were worth 350 coins. Presumably gold. If it's anything else, I'll be a bit disappointed. <laughs> uh, yeah, today is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, guys. Uh, for the reason that I, I am serve the flaming fist. under time pressure here a little bit. I'll tell you more about it in a second, but first we need to talk to the Flaming Fist mercenary. You there, you're under arrest for banditry and highway robbery. We know you're part of the, that bandit group who's been terrorizing the coastway. Give yourselves up or there will be trouble. <laughs> we will say... Well, you got the wrong guys. Really now, why should we believe you? <laughs> well, because of my warm smile and honest demeanor. Um, okay, so how about reasoning with her? If we were bandits, why were we walking out in the open? Come on, let's just let us go. We're not the people you're looking for. Alright, maybe I was wrong about the bunch of you. You're free to go. What? <laughs> He's a weird law enforcer. Yeah, so I've been to Sweden, guys, as you uh, probably have heard, so I missed uh, one Baldur's Gate episode. And now I'm in the um, process of doing something else, which is taking up quite a lot of my time and will be revealed tomorrow. Actually, there should be a teaser out today. <laughs> so if you check on my channel, you should see what it is that I have been busy with lately. Nashville. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely <laughs> behind you, yeah. the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorion would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkill mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Right, so Nashkel is part of Amn, the kingdom to the south of uh, Baldur's Gate on, along the Sword right. Coast. On me, and, is it? Uh, yeah, if you recall, we've been doing a lot of to and fro here, of course, but if you recall, we're trying to um, um, slowly but surely make our way down here because some of our previous party members, who have sadly departed us in various ways, have given us the tip that uh, the Nashkel mines are, well, they've stopped producing iron, and the iron they, they do produce is brittle. And uh, in our inexplorable, inexplicable goodness, we have decided to help out. And, uh, but before we go into actual Nashkel, we're going to try and locate a piece of armor that I happen to know is around here somewhere, but I can't remember exactly where. <laughs> So I'll look for that in a little bit here, and uh, the, the reason it's in one of these fields, or another, the reason I want it is because it's the best armor in the game, pretty much. And it's just laying around in the field, and we need it. <laughs> we need it badly. There's a cow, and a farmer. There's also another guy we've got to talk to down here as well. Carp. I don't know who this is. Let's talk to her. What's your tale? I wish things were better on here, here on the farm, but at least we're not miners. 
What's the difference? Either way, you spend all your life with your hands in the dirt. Hey, but there is a... Uh, there is... I can't read. Sorry, guys. Hey, but there is... It is to dig your own grave. In the mines, the very claws of the bat Batseru... Batseru will rake your skin and haul down, you down into the unknown depths. We are not well off here on the surface, but we are better off, I can assure you. Pity the souls um, of those wretched miners. I seem to be unable to locate this uh, armor. I think a Batsu is a kind of demon. Although I'm not that. Let's just investigate what's down here, by the way. So we can travel to the mines or to this I'll other give area it in down a minute, here. Gov. Um, I'm not that familiar with Dungeons and Dragons lore. Hey, yeah. This is another person we need to talk to, and I do apologize in advance because we're going to talk to him for quite a while. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Ever been to Baldur's Gate? I've been to Baldur's Gate. I'm hey, glad yeah. about it. Oh, I t think I stepped in something. Hey, yeah. Everyone in the town used to throw rocks at me and tell me I was annoying. <laughs> hey, yeah. Indeed. Hey, yeah. What time is it? I haven't had a conversation this long in a while ever. Hey, yeah. What's that big weapon for? Hey, yeah. Those colors look pretty stupid on you. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I once knew a guy named Dilby. He threw rocks at me too. Are you gonna throw rocks at me? What about now? Hey, yeah. What about now? Hey, yeah. Can I do this for a while now? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. So. There we go, we missed it. <laughs> Gee, you sure are patient. I've run out of things to say. Indeed, matey. Um, in Nashkel, for now, we're probably gonna end up uh, killing some people. <laughs> as one does. And also... Where is this armor? Okay, you know what, guys? I'll be back when I've found it. Well, I feel stupid. I'm sure it was on my screen all the time, and I'm sure you're screaming at the screen at the moment. <laughs> there we go. So, we have a Ankeg plate mail, and we have an armor class of minus three. Wait a minute. Who did I put this on? Willow, yeah. Okay, let's see here. If uh, maybe Sharkeel would like this. And uh, we'll see, maybe she will like that, and she won't like that. But okay, right, there we go. So, that's a bit of an upgrade. Now we're going to go back up here, and uh, enter the town proper. Um, there are some NPCs we need to talk to here, and also I believe we are going to uh, get attacked as usual and stuff like that. So, we got that to look forward to. Safana is in a bit of a bad shape, but other than that, we're kind of alright for... Stand away, citizen! Identify yourself, says Bardolan. We are the party of Willow, seeking a place to rest between adventures. There have been in here, but, but, but consider yourself warned. Tensions run rye. Run rye? <laughs> I thought they ran wheat. Tensions run high right now, cause any trouble on you and I have worn out your welcome. Fair enough. So here we have Rassad and some commoners. I will show you justice. See? Such feats are easy when you learn to focus their energies through the light of Selune. Selune. Rassad is actually a joinable character, but for once we're not gonna pick him up, I don't think. So let's see. I bet you can't do that while juggling an axe, a, su a, a super bowl, and a hedgehog. Perhaps not yet. But as I continue to improve my physical and mental skills by turning my inner light outward, I may yet perform such feats. My name is Rasad, and I am a humble monk of the Sun Soul. May I tell you more about the Order of the Sun Soul? I don't know. Look, if you're just asking for money, here's a gold. Don't spend it all at once. Uh, okay, let's go, please. The do. Order of the Sun Soul was founded during the time of... Hey, what are you supposed to be then? Some sort of kick puncher? Come on, take a poke at me. I dare you. 
I have come not to fight, but to demonstrate a few. Oh, so that's how it is, eh? You prance about, pretending to be some sort of hard man, but you're just a coward, right? <laughs> I am not afraid to defend myself, but I do not seek out conflict without purpose. Instead, I wish to share the light of the Moon Maiden. Oh, I get it. You're some kind of simpering priest, just pretending you knows how to fight, but really just begging for coins, yeah? A Sun Soul monk uses mind, body and spirit in equal portions, but not to prove his martial superiority. Rather, he seeks to better the lives of those around him. Yeah, yeah, save it for temple school, boy. <laughs> if you're not gonna fight nobody, I won't waste any more time on you. Um... I guess, yeah, okay. I guess enlightenment doesn't bring in as many coins as a good fist fight, eh, Rassad? No, you are correct. Many people find excitement <laughs> only in physical action. To find true enlightenment, one must combine the physical with the mental and the spiritual. You seem like someone who would appreciate the tenets of my order. May I tell you more about Salune and the Sun Soul monks? Um, let's just say... Not Farewell. now, for a while. Until we meet again, may you walk in moonlight. There we go. May you walk in moonlight. Well. Let's go and get it over with. Let's get into the inn. I will show you it may be a touch unladylike, but I'm gonna slit your throat, I am. Nera, just fancy my luck seeing you stroll in here, boldest day. I expected a hunt and a chase from the description. But who am I to argue? Easy coins in the purse. May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. Um. I would first know my attacker. Why are you doing this? Who I am is unimportant, though my name is ne Neira. What I am is a body of a hunter of bounties, and on your head is a lovely little sun. Does this satisfy your request? I thought it wouldn't. No matter. Now, we might well lose this fight. Um, we didn't didn't what is it this time? Then, let's try and sleep her. Ah, easy as goblin pie. Viconia, level up. If it bleeds, really? So, let's have a look. Another bounty notice. 680 coins of gold. Yep. We're sure moving up in the world, guys. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Okay, well we need to sleep and some well. like that. Never had sec. rats. No sorry. Okay, after that right, little unpleasant it's adventure, me, it? it's time I think to go down south here and have a little look. The glory of arm! Baron Gastkill says, You there, you have the look of a hearty adventuring stock. I am Baron Gastkill, mayor of Nashkill. Might I offer a proposition? I was expecting some people to help with our troubles, but they seem to have forgotten us. If you are up to it, I would ask you that you take a look at the mines southeast of town. The miners claim there are demons or some such roaming about. But they are a superstitious lot and prone to exaggeration. I am more concerned with the state of our ore. All iron removed from the mines are, is tainted somehow and useless for smithing. I would have you find out how it happens and who is behind it. You will be rewarded handsomely for your efforts. So this is our main quest actually. Um, but before we go and do that, which we're going to start on um, in a little while, not just yet. Uh, we're going to go to the temple and speak right, to Nail. Right, it's on me, is it? Ah, intrepid adventurers at our door. Helm guards over all the realms, and his servants are at your disposal. The vigilant one stands ready to mend any thy ailments, so and so divert the, the unyielding gaze of the great guide. For a suitable donation, of course, just to demonstrate our mutual goodwill. You understand? Helm watch over you and your our poor lost brother Bra Brage. 
a finer captain of the guard could nary be found this side of Anne. Such a strange chance for one uh, change for one so devout as he. One does not usually change so drastically without nefarious help. If there be an evil influence on him, perhaps the harsh justice of the military should be stayed. He'll find no quarter at the garrison, but if he came to the temple, well, his restitution need not be his life. Is there anything I can help you with? So, nothing at the moment. We have been informed that somebody called Brage or Bra Brage well, it's on me, is it? has gone a bit nuts, to be fair. Um, and uh, we're just sort of um, looking for this fella here, Ublek. Oh, you have returned, and so soon! Ah, oh, my fine and honest friend. What can I do for you today? What bounties are currently unclaimed? Our captain of the guard is still on the loose. Keep your blade ready if you get anywhere near him. Very dangerous he is. There is also a bit of foolishness with the local artist named Prism. Stole a couple of emeralds, he did. We seek their return, though Prism's fate is of little concern. So now we know that we can uh, find Braga and we can either turn him into Ublek or for some good old cash or we can turn him, turn him into the temple, presumably for some sort of reward. Um, and, oh I forgot to level up the Kona, let's do that quickly. She is level 2 at the moment, so now she's level 3. She gets uh, 1 level 2 spell. 8 hit points and increased lore by 1. So let's have a look at the priest type spells. Oh, and I need to sort this out. This is leftovers from um, when we were doing Safana's quest. Let's do two cure like wounds, a armor of faith, and yeah, remove fear is handy. And for level 2, she should have some pretty good things. Old person is nice, uh, but she needs to have draw upon holy might and slow poison for now. What do you there want? Go. I'll get it in a minute, Gov. You rang? And I am going to do some preparation here because, uh, as it turns out, we are sadly going to. Um, Part for a little bit at least with Nera. She can keep that stuff because we're going to get a better Haven't you got nothing May as well. Um, but here we have Minsk. Let's have a Stand word. and deliver. That my hamster might have a better look at you. Did he say hamster, guys? Did he actually? Yes, this is Minsk. He says, Let us pass, strangers, for we have not much time to waste. What? Yes, I'll ask them. Who and I go to rescue my charge? Dinner here. You may aid if um, you may aid in our victory if you wish. There is glory enough for all. Um, so we'll say the classic dilemma of a damsel in distress. How could anyone decline? Take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have carried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space ham hamster in the realm, my friend and companion ever since my ha head got a wound. He will lead us to victory. Onwards to the Gnoll stronghold in the west. Tarry not, we must go soon. So interesting, and this is actually what we're going to endeavor to do first. Go and seek out dinner here at the Gnoll stronghold. But we need to obviously pick up Edwin first. Go no further. I require the services of your group. Yes, they will do nicely. Is this what I have to work with? Pathetic, but it will have to do. <clears throat> I am Edwin, and I would have you work for me. It is but the simple chore of killing the witch Jenny here. Do you accept the task? Why do you have this woman? Why, why would you have this woman dead? Am I to kill her without knowing? Frankly, yes. It is no concern of yours. You need but perform the act with no question. What is your answer? It sounds but a simple task, I'll do as you ask. Of course you will, it is as expected. 
I will lead them to her and she cannot hope to prevail. I will travel uh, with you until the deed be done. Last I heard of her, she was traveling to the west of Nashville, close to the Null stronghold located there. And yes, N uh, Mira will have to be removed for now. Uh huh. Seriously? After all we've been through? Obviously, I had the wrong idea about our friendship. When you're ready to apologize, you can find me at the Friendly Arm Inn. Perhaps we'll meet again, Mira. So, now we have two new characters all of a sudden. We have Ed Edwin, who is a very competent wizard with a um, intelligence of 18 and a fair constitution. Uh, however, he is lawful evil. And we also have Minsk, who is a fair ranger with a good uh, strength and uh, yeah, not much else really. Uh, but he is also very funny and as you can see maybe on the picture here he has this little giant miniature space hamster and he's a bit wacky <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you can figure out already that these two I'm have diametrically opposed right. it's on me, is um, it? goals so we are going to see yet another uh, interesting development in our party hopefully while traveling with these guys um, and I think that's all we uh, can do for now in Nashville. So, a little bit of a shorter episode, guys, but we're going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a like and comment. To let me know how we're doing with our playthrough. Next time we're going to go to the, to the Gnoll Stronghold and have a bit of a fight. So, yeah, until then, have a good one. What do you want? Bye-bye. <laughs>